Hey guys, welcome back to Creativity Made Easy. It's Miriam here. Um, this week I want to share with you how I made this backdrop for my brother's wedding, which was about two weeks ago. Um, this floral backdrop measures about seven and a half feet tall by 10 feet wide. It cost me around $500 to make because of all the silk flowers and it took me around three days to do it. So I think it was really budget friendly and it looked really elegant and pretty. Um, so if you're interested, stick around and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so the first thing I did was I purchased two foam boards from the Dollar Tree and I cut those in half horizontally. And then I used my scissors to make four small holes one inch down from the top of each of the boards and I used ribbon to tie knots um, on each of those so that I could hang these boards from the backdrop stand. So next I purchased two of these floral foam sheets from Hobby Lobby and always use your 40% coupon for that. And I cut them in half horizontally and use my glue gun to glue each of the halves to one of the foam boards that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Now the glue is not gonna be enough to hold this foam to the board itself because once you ha add all the flowers, it becomes really heavy. So to make sure that everything stayed in place, I just used some fishing line and I wrapped it around the foam and the board many, many times and I glued the fishing line to the back of the boards just to secure it all in place. So once all the foam was secured in place with the fishing line and the glue, it was time to add the flower. So all the flowers that I purchased, I made sure to prep them by cutting them um, so that they only had maybe about a three inch stem that I could poke into the foam and still have the flower project out a little bit. So the first flowers I added to the backdrop were these cream roses that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. They came in a bunch, um, a dozen roses in one bunch, and I added about six dozen at this point throughout the backdrop. So for the full list of materials and all the flowers that I purchased, you can find that in the description box. There's a link for my website and I have links for the individual flowers that I purchased and from which store. Okay, next I added four dozen of these pink roses also purchased from Hobby Lobby and the flowers there actually get pretty expensive. So I waited until all the flowers went on sale. Their summer sale was 50% off for flowers. So I purchased everything at that time. So don't purchase some regular price because then this backdrop is going to end up costing you a thousand dollars and it's not worth that. So wait until they go on sale and purchase everything then. So here I'm just adding two bushes of hydrangea flowers. Um, each bush had about three of these flowers in it and they're just really nice, big, um, pretty flowers. So I added in total six throughout the top at this point. And then I used more of my uh, pink and ivory colored roses that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and I just went near the top where you could see all the green foam and I just filled all of those in at the top and the bottom, wherever you could see any of the green foam. So the last of the flowers that I purchased from Hobby Lobby were 16 of these white lilac spray stems and I'm just going to hang all of these from the bottom of the backdrop at about like 4 to 5 inch intervals. You don't have to use these exact flowers. I think I purchased these ones just because they were from the clearance section um, but pretty much any white um, dangling flower would work at this point. Also a side note, a few of the flowers kept falling out so I had my glue gun at the side and whenever flowers kept falling I just glued those in um, using my glue gun so keep that in mind if your stems keep falling out just glue them in. Okay next I purchased two types of flowers from Michaels, the first of which were these white 
amaranthus stems. They were really, really pretty and elegant. Um, they come in a bunch with five stems each. So I purchased five of these bunches, um, took them apart, and then used my glue gun to glue it throughout the backdrop. So the other flower I purchased from Michaels were these cream wisteria bushes. They're really pretty and elegant and I just used these mostly on the ends of the backdrop just to get a little bit of length. So I glued a few of these stems together to get length on the ends. Also along the center of the backdrop I glued more of the wisteria stems and you want to have like a staggered effect. Right now they all are at the same length but I went back later and glued a few of the stems lower and added more stems just so it looks staggered and not so level. So now that the majority of the flower arrangements for the backdrop was done I moved on to the uh, curtain panels. So I actually bought all the fabric from Joanne Fabrics and I just found whatever was on clearance. I was lucky enough to find this cream color um, sheer fabric and I purchased six panels of it. And right now I was just using my sewing machine to, um, to stitch an opening for it to hang on the backdrop stand. So my backdrop was seven and a half feet tall. So I purchased these panels to about eight feet tall just so they draped a little bit to the ground. So here I'm just going back and hanging the flowers back to the backdrop stand. Right now I just used clamps, but um, the day of the wedding I did use the ribbon to hang the foam sheets from the backdrop stand. But honestly I was really uncomfortable with the ribbon on the day of the event. I was just praying that it didn't fall or snap because I felt like the ribbon wasn't very sturdy. Of course, thank God it didn't fall. Um, the ribbon did stay, but in the future, I would recommend using something stronger, maybe like um, uh, twine or something like that that you can get from Dollar Tree. Just something a little stronger than ribbon. But um, yeah, the day of the event, I did use the ribbon and it didn't fall. Also, you can notice that after hanging all these flowers that the backdrop stand is drooping a little towards the center just because of the weight of the flowers. So what I did on the day of the event is this is just a cheap like $30 backdrop stand that I got from Amazon. So I actually ordered another backdrop stand. So the same one. So I purchased two of the $30 backdrop stands from Amazon and I used one of the legs from the second backdrop stand and I just put it in the center of this backdrop stand for extra support and for the leg obviously the leg needs somewhere to you know click into so I just drilled a hole the same size of the opening of the leg uh, right in the center of the backdrop stand so that way this was a three leg backdrop stand on the day of the event instead of the two that it comes as right now so now it's time to just add the finishing touches to the backdrop. Um, I purchased a lot of flowers from Joanne, maybe like three or four different types of flowers. I have them all listed here and I just used those to fill in the sides because there was a lot of greenery showing on the sides and I wanted them to be more filled. So um, the three, four different types of flowers that I purchased from Joanne, I was just filling in um, wherever I could in the sides and and at this point it really doesn't matter you can buy any type of flowers whatever's on clearance whatever's cheap and just fill it in to make it look pretty So that's it for this tutorial. Um, I think this backdrop actually turned out a lot prettier than I thought it would and um, everyone really liked it, um, my brother and sister-in-law especially. So it is a little simple but I think it's elegant and it worked for them. Um, the entire thing like I said cost me around $500 and the backdrop measures seven and a half feet tall. 
by 10 feet wide and majority of the cost is due to the fact that I have bought like silk flowers that were more expensive but at the event itself I did see a few people go up to the backdrop and smell it because they thought the flowers were real so mission accomplished please let me know what you guys think and if you haven't done so already be sure to subscribe and um, click that little notification bell so you stay up to date with all my latest tutorials and I will see you guys